Greetings, everybody. This is going to be a social distancing video. All right, so when I'm driving around and you see the homeless guys begging and stuff like that, I think to myself, man, you could probably make a lot of money if you played a cigar box guitar. So anyhow, you guys remember when I did that video when I was shooting the sound holes with the shotgun? Well, anyhow, so these, these boxes here were my uh, target practice boxes. And I figured I would use one of my target practice boxes to create a, um, I'm going to call this my social distancing guitar. Why is it social distancing guitar? Well, um, you'll see here in just a little bit, but um, this one here, when, I, when, when we were shooting it, it just blew that whole thing apart. So I'm going to have to get creative on bracing this top corner up here. But because this guitar is so long, I'm going to put a tip jar on the end there, right? So I can practice. Put the tip jar out there for the social distancing guys. Say, hey, give me some money. So, this is like a busker's delight, right? All right, so let's work on this thing here. All right, so I got to thinking with a tip jar on here, being all heavy, full of money and stuff like that, uh, plus all this extra wood, it's just going to be, in fact, if I let go of here, look, at, it's like heavy on this side. So I don't want to be having to hold it up all the time. So I think what I'm going to do is put some counterweights inside the box here. So I got rummaging through my through my pile here, and I got some some blocks here. Some purple heart, that's hardwood. Some ash. Some oak. I got even some some mahogany. So I'm going to block put some blocks in here just to kind of give it some counterweight, some counterbalance here, so it's not so heavy on this side over here. All right, a peek inside. So it's not pretty. It's kind of like Tetris, all packed in there. But I did want to point out here that this, these leads here are the shortest leads that I've ever soldered in a cigar box guitar. So go figure, you have the shortest leads and the longest headstock. One of the things I always strive for is balance. So, I like it to be like right here at the heel. The weight of this and the weight of that being about the same. So it's not always the case, but that's kind of like my, my rule of thumb here. So with this one here, in order to counterbalance all of this, I had to add those blocks. And so let's see, see where the weight is. Not too bad. Just a little, still a little heavy on this side here. Okay. Not, not too bad. A lot better than what it would be if this thing was empty, right? I did put a gold corner up here just to kind of protect that corner. And all of these other guys are just screwed into the wood. So this thing is solid. Oh my gosh. You were to hit somebody bam you'd send them to the hospital my gosh this is a weapon cute little saddle okay we got the strings on and it's intonated i'm tuned ebe and if you notice this is a pentatonic fretboard and you got to be real careful when you turn around here because you bam 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 knock over everything <laughs> So now I just need to finish the burns, sand and polish the neck, and then put me a tip jar. So I went rummaging through the trash and I found an applesauce thing, washed it out because it, I wanted something transparent. So I think I'm just going to cut the top off here and then screw it onto the neck. I think it'll work great. All right. So this is actually pretty funny. So I'll be able to do my thing and like be like, hey. 
So I just cut off the top and then I cut out this little part here with a Dremel and then just screwed it in to, to the top using the uh, finishing washers. All right, I am ready for a little social experiment. So I think I'm gonna go find my mask, load this thing up in the truck, drive around, go look for a street corner, and then do my thing. We're practicing social distancing. Here we go. I got my shades so I could look cool. And I got my mask so I can look dumb. All right, here goes nothing. I found a good spot right across the street there. Kind of next to that girl who's waving the pizza sign. All right, let's do this.
right, that was loads of fun. Michaela here was she was my uh, she was my uh, what do you call it my uh, cameraman. So anyhow, I'm gonna split this these, these uh, proceeds with her. So uh, check it out. I made some money. Here we are back in the man cave after conducting our social distancing experiment. That was lots of fun. I was out there for about maybe 15 minutes. Came away with like eight dollars, nine dollars and change, stuff like that. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, I gave it all to to Michaela for being such a good sport. Um, most of the people seemed like they were annoyed. Here's this guy out there playing bombastic rock and roll with a, on a junky old make believe guitar. Um, some some people enjoyed it though. I mean, a couple of guys like looped around twice and stuff and uh it was a lot of fun you know pe people you know seem to seem to be on board with it and stuff like that but anyhow so um yeah so you can make money um by social distancing and busking there's ways to do it right so don't be afraid to think out of the box speaking of tip jars i do have a virtual tip jar in the upper right hand corner of my YouTube page, there's a PayPal account. You just click on that. And if you wish to donate, that's, that's by all means, that's, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, but whatever you do, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. So I'm in here cleaning up. And this, um, I think I noticed it start. It looks like a speaker. It's even shaped like a speaker. So I got to thinking, hmm, what are the odds? Ah, sure enough, man. Dude, everything is loud. So loud. I got to thinking, man, I can invent some analog ear amplifiers to match my mask. Not even burning, it's just melting. Huh. Good thing I don't have a smoke detector. Ah, all right, enough of that.